What would the world look like without crystals? Dragonfly eyes are actually made of curved lattices of hexagonal light receptor structures. They're a kind of crystal. Brittle stars use calcium carbonate lenses to see. Uh, human eyes are not crystals or like crystals, but Maria Ferreira's art and the work that we've been doing in our laboratory suggests that it's well worth looking at and through crystals and that uh, 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 the world would be a poorer place without their contemplation. My favorite piece in Maria's show, not surprisingly, uh, was the centerpiece, the video hillocks. It was a painting in time where each of the brushstrokes were crystals grown what by would the world look like in our lab through crystals? Uh, during the past 30 years. However, they were like uh, isolated brushstrokes stashed away in drawers. They were not organized. And with these raw materials, Maria made a time painting, a visual symphony. I was thrilled by it. It was like a conductor took a, a useless archive destined for recycling and made it vivid. The light boxes coupled with polarizers bring uh, forward the captivating dialogue between crystals and light. We, we know most of what we know about matter by the scattering of light by crystals, and we know a lot of, about what we know of the mysteries of the photons by, of the photon by its interaction with crystals. And uh, this is how we know that light particles are sided and can be entangled. It's a great conversation, and when the unsuspecting bring the polarizers up to the crystal films, there's a delight and then a mystery worth thinking about. When Newton passed light through a, a prism and saw the rainbow of colors, he called it a pleasing divertisement until he started to think about it. I especially like to uh, capture my reflection in the monitors that were broadcasting melt grown crystals between cross polarizers because after a few seconds I crystallized in this way. Uh, J.G. Ballard wrote a great story called The Crystal World, an apocalyptic vision of a world where everything crystallizes. It's an early version of so-called cli-fi or climate fiction that's um, taking over for good reason. Uh, and, and that is not just art. We are crystallizing into renal stones of calcium oxalate, cholesterol crystals in our arteries, amyloid fibrils in our brains. But Marie also captured many twisted crystals that look more lifelike than memento mori. Uh, growth in curves, liquid crystal-like, the tension between death and the organization that supports life. It was all there uh, to me in any case.